so here we go for throwing bowls. Um, the size of the clay is up to you. I wouldn't go much smaller than this at first, um, or maybe don't go you know much bigger than the softball size. Um, but you're at the point where you can experiment, playing around with doing some bigger ones and some smaller ones. Um, so of course you're going to wedge this up. Um, you're going to center it just like you center a cylinder. We have the same tools over here. We have the fettling knife, the wooden knife, um, the needle tool. Is that new for you guys? Okay, yeah. needle tool, uh, wire tool. I grabbed a chamois too, which is new for you guys. All right. So I'm getting it centered in that igloo shape. I know that it's centered when my hands aren't bouncing around. You're going to put the center hole in just like you did with the um, cylinder. So studying my hands. Now I taught you when you did a cylinder to put your, have your fingers straight, but put this in as an, at an angle so that the hole ends up to be wide and you can see on the inside like so. If you somehow got in the habit of doing a hole straight down, you're going to want to break that habit, okay, because this way will make it much easier to throw your bowl. Now, I'm pushing, pushing that finger down. Before, with the cylinders, we wanted you to be about a little bit smaller than a pinky from the bottom. With the bowls, we want to be a little bit thicker. Why? Yeah, so that you have room to trim it. So, I'm going to keep that a little bit thick there. And here's a trick. I'm not a huge fan of this trick, but I'll show you anyways. You can take a needle tool and go right down in the, stick it in the bottom of the pot, put your finger at the top where it meets the clay, pull it out, right? And then you can know how thick your bottom is, okay? This is actually, I would probably want to make this a little bit thicker in the future. Um, when you're trimming your feet, like you might choose to have really like tiny feet or really tall feet, um, all those aspects you can play around with. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Got my hole, my center hole in. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just supporting it on this side. I'm not pressing and I'm going to take my fingers and I'm just going to start applying pressure to move that clay to round this out. Like so. We don't want any flatness. We don't want a flat bottom. Um, you want to, it, it should look like you can set a ball perfectly in there and it would touch all parts of the ball. Once you get that done, so you don't pull, no pulling the floor. It's like we're stretching out the bottom of that bowl. Then get it wet. We come over to this side. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky because with cylinders you pretty much could have the same pressure going all the way up, right? But with bowls, we're gonna have to apply more pressure down here and less pressure as we come up. All the while not messing up this nice curve we have in here. So I'm going to push in down here at the bottom. I'm starting in the middle, but I'm just kind of petting the clay right now. I'm not applying a lot of pressure down here. When my fingertips come together, And I start pulling it. Do that again. Pressure on the inside, pressure on the outside, all the way up to the top. When you get to the top, you come out. Don't go off your top. So see how it's starting to take that bowl shape? Now, with a cylinder, which fingertips were below. The outside fingertips will look below. With the bowl, it's reversed. So to get that belly, we're kind of pushing it out with that, that inside hand. So I'm going to try to do one more pull here, keeping with my three pull rule. 
like so. Now, I've done three pulls. I want this inside shape to mimic the outside shape. I wanna make sure I don't have a flat bottom. I'm gonna do just one more, it's not really gonna be a pull, it's just more like shaping. I like to cup my hand um, on this side and just gently run that sponge along the inside. If you wanna use a chamois, a chamois is a piece of leather. We, uh, they disappear very quickly, They're, they get lost. Um, you can just cut a little piece of um, paper towel and use the same thing. But the chamois, I like to take, fold it over, and I make like a little rainbow that I can put on that rim to just kind of smooth that rim, rim out. It's a nice finishing touch. The next thing I'm gonna do is dry everything off, including the outside of this, just really gentle. I'm drying the wheel off. This is the same things you guys did for cylinders, okay? And I'm gonna clean my hands off and dry my hands off. Now we don't need to trim these because we're gonna trim them later. But what I like to do, this is just a little trick, is take the, this is like a fingertip side, looks like a fingertip, and I just really gently kind of scratch off that slippery slip so that I can hang on to it a little bit better, okay? So this part's a little tricky. Everybody make peace signs like this. So to take this off, I'm gonna make peace signs and then I'm gonna flip them over and make like a diamond shape. So we don't wanna do this and mess up our bowl. So when I do the wire tool, I'm gonna to do the peace signs, flip it, and I'm gonna pick it up by the foot. Okay, I'm gonna kinda of grab the whole thing right here. So again, um, wrap the wire around your fingers, hold it down, pull it through, get rid of that wire very quickly, pop that up, and put it on your board. And then you go again. Any questions so far? Okay. Questions?